Hi everyone and welcome to your tarot messages. I have um, given the cards a shuffle and I have laid out the cards before you and we're going to go ahead and take a look what your tarot guides would like for you to know going into the brand new year. Okay, so what messages do the tarot guides want to share with you coming into the new year? It is going to be a general reading guys, so please just keep mindful of that. If you are after a personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video, just where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead and let's start the reading. So to begin the reading, you have the Ace of Swords. And swords are a weapon. They can be used for good, okay? But they can also be used for destruction. Um, your mindset here, your mindset is going to be extremely important. And the energy seem to um, suggest that there needs to be quite a focus on your mindset, especially going into the new year. Okay, for a lot of you, there, you know, the aces are new, a new beginning. So is, there is this strong energy of you shifting your mindset to a much more powerful one, a much more resilient one, a much more um, empowering mindset here. Okay. Um, now, for some of you as well, there is uh, there is a reminder here in the cards for those of you that have gone through something turbulent, through something tumultuous lately, or if you're still going through it, there is a um, there's a message here in the cards for you to stay strong. But there's also a reminder here within the cards that you are so much stronger than you think you are, or you are so much stronger than you know. Okay, so keep doing what you're doing, keep at it, because it's working for you. Um, there's also this, I feel like there's this breakthrough, okay, in the new year, you may not see it yet, you may not see it now from this vantage point, but some things, it's like something's got to give and something will give, okay, I feel like there's this breakthrough, behind this breakthrough though, um, what is accelerated and what accelerates this breakthrough is your mindset, is your mental shift, so for a lot of you, it's like, pay very close attention to your thoughts, because your thoughts create your reality, okay? And what you focus on, where the energy um, flows, okay? That, that, that's what, you know, that's what grows and that's what amplifies. So pay extreme attention to your thoughts. Be kind to yourself. Be merciless to yourself here. Um, there's also the strong, indi um, strong indication of a healing energy in the cards. And look, going into the new year, um, some of you might, there may be some things that you are wanting to heal. Okay, now these could be wounds that you are nursing. These could be physical wounds. Okay, some of you might have had injuries. Some of you might have had heartbreaks. Okay, some of you are maybe wanting to heal past hurts, past wounds, past emotional wounds, um, you know, past failed friendships. But there's this strong energy of you really focusing on healing. Okay. Healing the mind, the body, the soul. And I feel like that's going to be the theme throughout the year as well. Okay? Because life is a roller coaster, right? Um, and, you know, you're not going to be 100% happy all of the time. But throughout the year, I feel like the theme that's really, like, woven into the fabric of your reading here is healing. Okay? Healing um, past mistakes, healing past hurts, healing, you know any failed relationships or anything like that just healing yourself your mind your body and your soul and this is going to strengthen you this is going to make you so much stronger than you already are as well there is some sort of breakthrough that's being indicated here and i think this is going to happen at the very um at the start of the year or early on in the year something here is break or you're breaking through okay something here i feel like is finally reaching you um something that you've been waiting on for a very long time so it could be some sort of contact or some sort of communication um, you might have been awaiting for some sort of positive news but something here is um it's finally happening and it does to me it does feel like it's something that you've been waiting for it's something that you've been you know hoping and wishing and You've been trying to manifest it. You've been trying to bring it into your world, into your existence, and it's on its way to you. Now, the Ace of Swords, you know, it denotes success. So whatever this is, it is a success. 
okay it is successful communication it is successful news coming in it is you know a successful opportunity um it's destined for you okay whatever this is if it's like a person a new energy that's coming in for you this person is destined for you if it's like an opportunity a work opportunity of some sort or something that sort of shows up but this is even though it may feel like it just shows up out of the blue but this is something that i feel like is designed for you in mind okay um the past here especially with the six of cups i feel like for a lot of you there is this strong especially going into the the new year there's a strong energy of nostalgia it's like a yearning and a longing for maybe what was but much more interestingly what you thought should have been okay there's this strong energy of nostalgia um use that energy to me it feels like there's a little bit of a pain in the reading um and it could have something to do with the healing that i'm picking up like for example some of you need to heal you know as we spoke about um whether it's injuries or whether it's heartbreaks whether it's emotional wounds past regrets you know you know what it is that you need to work on you know what it is that you need to heal but the, the other message that I get for you, and I feel like your tarot guides are trying to reach you with this, is use that pain as fuel, okay? Because that pain, it is useful to you, and it has been useful to you, so use it as fuel. What do I mean by that? Like for some of you, you can use it as artistic or creative inspiration, okay? You can draw on that to, you know, um, put together um, like a piece of work, okay? So for example, if you're a painter... You know, um, you could paint something if you're a photographer. You know, explore that. If you're a writer, you could put together, you know, um, like a masterpiece. So use that or even use that inspiration for your healing, okay? Um, so yeah, strong energy of nostalgia. The thing is, I feel like for a lot of you, there is this, the cards do seem to indicate that you need to leave, like leave the past behind, okay? And you need to leave behind, especially going into the old year, because, sorry, into the new year, it's a brand new you. So it's a new energy, you know, new mindset, new and improved mindset. Um, so with that said, you'll have to leave behind some past hurts, okay? You'll have to leave behind those past regrets, those past mistakes, um, because you can't take it with you into the new year, okay? it'll be too crowded for you in the new year because there's a lot that's happening for you there's a lot of goodness that's coming for you what's ahead of you is so much bigger and better than what you're leaving behind okay so keep that in mind so in order to you know invite all these wonderful opportunities that are coming your way you have to make you have to have that room in your life and if you're going to take with you all these past mistakes and past regrets you're not really creating those you know you're not really inviting that those opportunities you're not really creating that space that you need to so yeah six of cups energy there is this strong indication of having to i say having to but a lot of you are wanting as well you know you're wanting to leave past hurts past mistakes you really just want i'm sure a lot of you heard the saying you know um a new year is like the start of a new book you know you've got 365 blank pages make it a good story and for a lot of you i feel like this is the mindset you know you want you want new you want newness you want it's almost like you want to wake up still be you but like a newer version of you if that makes sense um, and you will get that for a lot of you this is something that you're striving for and you will get that but the thing is it's not going to mirac uh, it's not going to happen miraculously right it's not just going to land in your lap this is something that you have to work for it's something that you'll have to uh, work on um i'm also seeing past loves this year although it is a new year i feel like there is a past love or even like a past life connection that is coming into your life but as a brand new energy okay with the six of cups this is a soulmate energy so this year it's very likely that you are going to be meeting your soulmate or you will be reconnecting with your soulmate. So this could be someone from your past, someone whom you've tried to make things work with and it didn't work out, someone whom you had a very strong and a very special emotional connection, a very strong emotional bond. And even though it may have been weathered by storms or, you know, you might have been um, 
there may have been some sort of distance which between you and this individual for whatever reason things didn't work out you know um this year it feels like there is an opportunity to connect with each other but in a brand new energy so it's it's still the same person that you love and this is the, still the same person that loves you and even though you've been um you know you've been at a distance um, distance maybe has kept you apart or time and space has kept you apart but that love has never dissolved and that love between you has never gone away and uh, it makes sense because this does have a you know it does have a strong energy of a soulmate connection so this is someone who's going to love you for you know the rest of your lifetime so this year i feel like you will have the opportunity to reconnect with someone from um, your past someone who does feel very much like a soulmate energy and it does feel like a soulmate connection and it feels like you will get another chance this year to do it right you'll get another chance to do it again okay make sure you learn from the past because the six of cups is such a strong energy um you know about the past make sure you learn from your past mistakes make sure that both of you learn from your past regrets because you do not want to repeat your past mistakes right um, so make sure you do take advantage of this opportunity because it will show up. It will show up. It, there will be um, a time and there will be a place where the two of you are going to reconnect. And in that meeting, and it's like this divine meeting, in that meeting the both of you are going to realize just how much you truly mean to each other. Now, for some of you, this may not necessarily be a past energy, okay? So this might not necessarily be a past energy, but it does feel like a past energy, and I'll tell you why, because this is someone, it could be someone from your past life, okay? It could be someone from your past that you had a connection with in the past, and this is someone whom you have a soul contract with, and what that means is, even though you guys might have been kept, you know, apart by time, distance, space, and whatnot, you guys made a soul contract to one another, like a promise to each other that you'll, that you'll come back together. Okay, so even though this is a complete brand new energy, not someone that you've met yet, okay, at least not in this lifetime, this person is coming back from a past life connection. And even if it's not that, then this is just, you know, it could just be a brand new energy, but someone who, because it's a soulmate energy, this person feels so familiar. And even though you guys might have just recently met, or you might, you know, only recently meet, what happens is the two of you will feel so comfortable. It will be this instant connection, this instant attraction. I see children as well in the new year. So for some of you, I do feel like there's like this fertility coming up here. Um, some of you could be expecting children. Some of you could be developing a very strong and special bonds with children. Um... For those of you writers or artists out there, some of you could be working on some sort of children's book. Okay, and I feel like it, there's something here that's finally going to get picked up or, get, or going to get published. But it feels like it's like it's aimed at children or it's aimed, sorry, aimed at a younger audience. Um, you, yeah, you or someone around you, I feel like is is falling pregnant or is you're going to hear um news of pregnancy from someone around you there's also you know fertility there's this energy of fertility and it's you giving birth it's you giving you know birth to new ideas it's you giving birth to inspiration um you know new happenings here so it's just there's a lot of growth here in the energies uh this year i think you will be doing a lot of growing you will be doing a lot of growing you and you'll be doing a lot of like growing through what you're going through and that's so important um, nine of Wands, now this is a wounded soldier, okay, he's got his head, it's banged up a little bit, so for those of you that have been hurt, okay, so whether, you know, you've hurt yourself physically, whether it's like an emotional or um, a physical, a mental pain, it's all pain in the end of the day, so for those of you who have been hurt, there is a recovery, okay, but you need to take care of yourself. Okay, so focus on yourself, focus on healing, focus on what's good for you. But there is a recovery here, so there is good news. Um, and just, just be cautious, moving forward, just be cautious. 
I'm also seeing that there is something here. Someone may say or do something to really hurt you. And I know this doesn't sound really nice, but I feel like the lesson that comes from it is so valuable. And it, like it's unfortunate that you're going to have to learn this lesson that way. But something that someone says, okay? Like for example, it could be someone that breaks your heart. It could be someone that you know is very close to you and says something that um, will really upset you. But at the same time, it's like... I don't know specifically what this is, but it just feels like there's such a strong lesson to come from it. Um, there is this energy of waiting, especially with the Seven of Pentacles. Um, and you know what they say, a watched pot never boils. So for those of you that are waiting, and it's like I can pick up on the energies, you're waiting for something, you're waiting for something to happen, you're waiting for something to finally give, you're waiting for this to take off, you're waiting to get published, or you know, you're waiting to get land the next job, land the next gig, whatever it is, or you're waiting for that right one, a wash pot doesn't boil. Okay, so make sure you, um, you know, make sure you're aware where you divert your energy. And just going back to this whole waiting thing, you have to trust the process. Okay, because if you're doubting the process, if you're waiting but doubting the process, um, you know, it's not very positive, right? You have to trust the process. You have to trust and you have to believe that whatever it is that you're waiting for is meant for you, okay? And whatever it is that you're, you know, waiting on is worth the wait. So if it's a person or if it's a, a situation or if it's some plans of some sort, you know, you have to believe and you have to trust that this is meant for you and this is going to arrive. Sometimes things don't happen in your timeline. Okay, and sometimes you think that, you know, you know best and, you know, um, the timeline according to you is, you know, is how things should happen. But the universe, the universe has bigger and better things in store for you. Okay, and for some of you, you're waiting on something good. You're waiting on something real good. But let me tell you, if you wait patiently enough and in the meantime, if you do the work and just really focus on yourself, you know, um, improving yourself, improving your mindset, um, what you're waiting on or what arrives is so much bigger than what you're waiting on. Okay, so just trust the process, don't rush the process, respect the process. And also, like, there's a lot of things that are happening for you behind the scenes now and throughout the year, but you just have to, I think what's really going to help you um, it's just really trusting, trusting yourself, trusting in the universe, trusting in the divine order of things, okay? Sometimes things don't go according to plan. Sometimes things, um, you know, sometimes things happen abruptly, they happen unexpectedly, uh, and it's, it just wasn't a part of the plan. At least you think that way. Um, but, like, whatever has happened and wherever you are and, you know, um, whatever is going on right now is exactly where you need to be. So you're not lost, you're here, you know, and whatever isn't working out for you or whatever you think hasn't worked out for you is still a part of everything working out for you, okay? So just trust the process. Trust it, respect it. Do not rush it. Do not rush it because it will backfire. Um, and Three of Swords, I mean, it's never really a pleasant card. It doesn't matter which angle you look at it. It's all about... You know emotional anguish but i do believe that every cloud has a silver lining so i do believe that there is some you know as i've mentioned throughout this year i feel like healing is going to be a really big theme you know really working on yourself um healing the past healing any emotional wounds or just um you know all of that and healing is messy healing is ugly um but I also feel like this pain, right, this pain that some of you are, you know, are going through, it's strengthening you, it's not weakening you, even though some of you may think it has weakened you, it's done the opposite, it's only strengthened you. Um, I think, especially with the Three of Swords and the Six of Cups, I think there is some sort of, again, I'm going back to someone who broke your heart, here's someone from the past, someone who, I mean, really torn your heart into, like, a million little pieces, like, they've shattered your heart here, how dare they, by the way, but this person, I feel like, whoever has broken your heart here, I don't think there was any malice involved, I just think, you know, um, it happened, you know, whatever happened here is between you and this individual, but whoever he has broken your heart, um, I feel like, you know, will come back into your life this year to 
put you back together, to put your heart back together and to love you again and to love you again the way that you deserved. Um, so especially with the, you know, remember how early in the reading we spoke about someone from the past, you reconnecting with someone from the past or you, you know, connecting with the soulmate energy. I do think this is someone who has hurt you, someone who's broken your heart or someone whose heart you've broken. But I do think you're going to have another chance to get it right with this person this year. And you end and we'll end the reading on the Ace of Sword, on the Ace of Wands. So we begin with the Ace and we end with the Ace. There's a lot of new energy in the reading for you. Okay, there's a lot of new beginnings. There's a lot of new chapters. There's a lot of new connections. There's a, there's a lot of things that are happening to you that I feel like you haven't yet experienced. So this could be like new and exciting emotions. Um, you could be meeting with completely new people, uh, making new connections, you could be starting new jobs, you could be landing new opportunities. Um, there's a lot of newness, okay? Um, in saying that, there's also new pain, okay? And pain is very much a way of life. You can't, that's something that you can't avoid, guys. Um, new pain, as in some of you might fall in love and you'll get your heart broken and then you'll get your heart, you know, stitched back up together again. Some of you might... You know, you might land an opportunity and you might squander it, but then you might learn a really, you know, a really good lesson from it. So this is what I mean by there's just so much things that I feel like that are going to be happening for you this year that will very much feel exciting, but more importantly, new. Okay, so you'll also be in an energy that I feel like you haven't stepped in before or you haven't been in a very long time, which is really exciting. And... I think there's just such and there's just so much room for you to experience life for you to like have adventures for you to have experiences um, and some of these experiences will be amazing they will be wonderful and some of these will be challenging they will be turbulent they will be tumultuous but that's life right that's real life so a lot of newness a lot of growth happening this year i think that by the end of the year you will be a different person Okay, you're a different person coming into the year and you're working on yourself. But I think just all, I feel like all these experiences that are coming for you, like all the people that you'll be meeting and all the people that you'll be connecting with and all the things that you'll be, um, you know, experiencing here, I think it's really going to change you. I think it's really going to grow you. It's going to pu push you. It's going to evolve you. It's going to push you, you know, way, way outside your comfort zone. But I think you're totally ready. I think there's just so much growth and it feels exciting and it feels exhilarating. Um, by the end of the year, some of you could be pregnant. You could be, or someone very close to you could be pregnant. Um, some of you could be getting engaged. Some of you could be living in the country that isn't where you're in right, right now. You could be living abroad. Um, some of you could be traveling. And some of you might be doing something that you like, didn't even see yourself doing. It's just this brand new energy. Um, a lot of you as well are like of the mindset that, you know, you're, you're ready to embrace. It's like you're ready to embrace the new. You're ready to embrace, um, you know, whatever lies ahead, whatever that might be. It's this energy of you feeling ready. Even if you doubt that readiness... Um, trust me, you're ready. Okay, so don't doubt that. All right, guys, and these are your messages. I will leave it at that. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please do show your support to the channel by subscribing, by liking, or even disliking. It's all engagement. Um, uh, commenting or sharing. Thank you guys so much for your time, your energy, your attention. All the best for the new year. Bye.